a Microsoft Silver Partner. Today I'm here to discuss about the new product offering from Microsoft called the Enterprise Mobility Suite. In this video we will discuss about the features of the first component of the suite that is the AD Premium and will showcase our multi-factor authentication and self-service group creation as well as the group based access to SaaS application works. So let's take up a scenario where Ind Oil is an organization which deals in gas and oil production and Swati Kumar heads the IT team in End Oil, where she has to add Jeff Thomas who is a new joiner in the directory of the organization. So let's see how she does it. She goes to her iPad, goes to this URL which is manage.windowsazure.com and signs in with her Azure subscription, goes to the Active Directory tab on the left panel and we click on this end, in, end oil well, this is the directory we're going to deal with and we're going to click on the tab of the users and at the bottom of the page we can see there's an option called add users I've already added the user called Jeff Thomas to this page to this directory I'm going to show you how we can enable multi-factor authentication on this user and again we have we can see one of the one of the options showing at the bottom of the page called multi-factor authentication manage and we click on that and it takes to it takes us to a link where it will show a list of users on which you want to enable this multi-factor authentication so we see a list of users and we see Jeff Thomas and we click on it and on the right hand side we see enable we click on that and we confirm on the dialog saying enable multi-factor authentication and it's been successfully done so let's see how this works from Jeff's end so now Jeff opens this device and goes to his company portal and then enters his credentials his password yeah. and clicks on sign in and we'll see how it he will be provoked he will be asked with an additional level of security setup it will take a little time and here we go so it's it says your admin has required that you set up this account for additional security verification so we'll click on set it up now and we'll be taken to a step-by-step -step guidance to the setting up of this multi-factor authentication and whenever Jeff logs into his account he'll receive a call from this Microsoft verification team and he'll have to verify himself on the mobile and then he'll be given an access to his account so is the first step we can see we have to provide a contact method to verify ourselves so we three three methods that is the mobile phone you can give or through an office phone or the mobile app we're gonna take mobile phone for now gonna specify the country code and the mobile registered mobile number and we see again we see two modes of authentication that is through text based authentication or you can even verify yourself through a call so we're gonna make the call and just to make sure that your the phone is near you say verify now Now we see Jeff receives a call from the verification team. Using Microsoft sign in verification system. Please press the pound key to finish your verification. If you do not initiate this verification, someone may be trying to access your account. Please press zero pound to submit a fraud alert. This will notify your company's IT team and block further verification attempts. So we'll go ahead and verify with the palm key. Your account has been verified. Goodbye. And there you go. Your authentication, your verification has been done through your registered phone. After Jeff has verified over the phone, now he sees a second step that says the verification was successful. And we'll go on to head on the next step. Now this step greets us with a password generation, which will be useful for your link uh, operate, uh, applications like your link, Microsoft Office applications, Outlook and other applications. So for the time being we won't be using this now. 
So I'll select don't use this account. And this is the last step setting up for your multi factor authentication. So every time Jeff logs in, he'll be getting a call from the verification team in order to verify himself over the phone. As we can see, now Microsoft is calling Jeff. And once he verifies this on the phone, he'll be granted an access to his account. So receive the call from Microsoft. Just complete the verification over the phone. And now we can see we can get an access to what the account.